guys, it's Shannon. I am back with a completed coloring book video for you. Completed coloring book? No. I didn't complete a whole coloring book. Completed pages video. <laughs> so these are all the pages I have completed through October 31st, 2019. I also have a kitty helper here. You might see there's a foot. That's Captain Jack. <laughs> Hi, Captain Jack. So I have some pictures in here that are all the way from last year, but I have not done a video in a very long time showing completed pages. So there's going to be quite a few here. These will be all pages that I have not shown before. And I do have other completed pages, but they're in books that I haven't hauled yet. So I'm actually going to do the haul video first and then do the completed pages. So going forward, hopefully the pages will actually be like current, but for a little bit, we're going to play catch up. So I'm going to move these to the side and we're going to start with the first one. So this is my Creative Haven Christmas Fantasy Fashion Book by Mingju Sun. I forgot I had this book until I was just looking for all my little tabs uh, signifying that I completed a page. So I'm really excited. This is like perfect time to pull this book back out because it's Christmassy fashions. So that's going to be great. So the one I did or completed is right here. And I completed this, <clears throat> if you can see here, January 1st of 2019. So that was a while ago. <laughs> okay, sorry guys. I'm getting over a cold. So I had to pause the video to cough and now the cat is attacking me and attacking my book. He thinks it's playtime. This might be difficult to do. Anyway, here's my picture. I did it all in glitter gel pens. So you can see lots of glitter and shine. So there we go. That is my first one. Let me move that book out of the way. <clears throat> Here is my next book. This is 100 Best Grayscale Coloring Pages by Alina Lazareva. And I love this book. It is so pretty. I even love the cover. So let's find my first one here. Okay, here is the first one. It is this really pretty mermaid. And I think the cat's going to attack it. Yes, I did uh, the mermaid and the water with alcohol markers. And then the background of this one was actually done with pan pastels, which made it super quick to do. And it was a lot of fun. Please don't eat my coloring book. Thank you. Um, I think Captain Jack approves of this picture because we have a little paw hair. Do not eat my coloring book, kitty. He's crazy. Okay, kitty. <laughs> you guys can't even see his cute little face, but he's trying to eat my coloring book. <clears throat> it's a good thing he's adorable. Okay. Let's find my next page. Oh, and this one was done January of 2019 as well. I'm going to play fight the cat in this video, apparently. And here is my next one. He wants to eat the tab. <laughs> okay, Jack. Here is the next one. This is just a really simple, pretty, like, party dress or prom dress. I just did it in pink and put these big pink roses up here. And I think this was alcohol marker as well. Yes. That was alcohol marker. And apparently I have started one and did not mark it as a work in progress. So I'm gonna have to do that because what I wanna do through the end of the year is kind of work on completing some of my work in progress um, pages so that I don't have any started that aren't completed. Okay, so that was that book. <clears throat> Next up, we're gonna do the Christmas Mandala Mandala Coloring Book by Jade Summer. And I feel like the cat is just waiting for me. <laughs> He's eating the tabs. Okay, kitty. <laughs> he's he's kind of crazy. Hopefully you guys like kitties because here he is. He's about to get evicted though <laughs> because he's eating my tabs. Okay, kitty. Jack, you're so cute, but they cannot see your cute little face. Look up so they can see you. Okay, <clears throat> let's... <laughs> okay, Jack! You're eating my coloring book. Okay, hold on. Kitty has to be evicted. Come on, come on, kitty. He's like, no, I don't want to leave. Oh, and then he hit the camera. Mwah. He has to have a kiss on the way down. Goodbye, kitty. Whew. Okay, maybe now we can get to business. 
let's start here. I think this was my first one, yes. So here's one from last year, but it was so much fun to do. This was all done in glitter gel pens again, which glitter gel pens are like my all time favorite thing to color with. So I like the little gingerbread. Um, this one was really fun to do. All right, my next one was this little Santa Claus mandala. And again, I'm really glad to get this book out because it's coming up to Christmas, so it'll be fun to work on this. Then I have this one with the elves. Again, all in glitter gel pen. And lastly, I have this one with the house. And again, glitter gel pens, and it was a ton of fun. So this book is just really cute. I'm just doing it in order, but there's just so many cute little Christmas mandalas in here. So love that one. <clears throat> okay, next up, Pokemon Quest by Sun Life Drawing. This is a color by number, and apparently, <clears throat> okay, I'm working on a page. That's why I have a piece of cardstock in here so it doesn't bleed through to the next page. Okay, so here is our first one. I think this is called Charmander or Charmeleon, <clears throat> something like that. <clears throat> you guys, I really apologize for my voice. Um, I am getting over a cold and I need to film videos for you guys, so I'm doing my best. <clears throat> okay, this one I dropped some water on, so it looks a little funny right there, <laughs> but these are fun. You just have these big squares, or really not squares, um, like octagons, and you just color them in based on your color numbers over here. <clears throat> okay, so that one, this one was actually done with like flare pens, I think. This one was done with all glitter gel pens, and I was afraid I was going to run out of that yellow. <laughs> Actually, I, you know what? In fact, I did run out of the yellow. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but over here it's a little bit lighter yellow than this yellow. But I think it still looks really cool. So there are those two. Okay, next up, the Halloween coloring book by Jade Summer. This one was brand new this year. And I just colored this one right here, the little puppy in the pumpkin. This was colored with I feel like it was alcohol markers. It could have been Crayola Super Tips, but I think it was alcohol markers. You know what? It was. It was, um, I have a big bin of close to my heart markers back from when I used to sell close to my heart rubber stamp stuff. So I still have markers that are like, like 17 years old or something, and they're still coloring. So <laughs> that's what I did this one with. Next up, this is a book that I want to try to finish because I have a lot of pages completed in it. This is Little Sweethearts by Deborah Moeller. It's one of my favorites. Um, so this isn't, well, this is one of the ones I'm gonna show you today. I have a ton of flags in here for completed pages, but I also have even more pages completed than that. So I feel like this is a book I could actually get done soon. My favorite thing to use in these books is like Sharpie or Bic markers. So that's what I used on this one, and she's just so cute. I absolutely adore this one. <clears throat> Here is our next one. I like the color combo that I used on her, this yellow and like aqua blue. Very cute. Next up, I started trying to just do these in order in the book so that, um, you know, I could just complete the whole book. So this one is adorable. It says, I love coloring and you, which is super sweet. I like this one. I did each of the crayons up here and down here in different primary colors. I have this one. She is sewing a quilt and it's a very cute quilt. And I like the contrast in her dress. I use like a plum and then a, a magenta. Next up is this girl with an ice cream cone and a lollipop. I guess that would be me. She has two sweets at the same time. And then we have this one finally. So we have 
Um, we have her sitting up there. She's got her love storybook. She's got a bow and an arrow. I'm not sure what she's doing, but she's cute. And I like the colors that I used here. So this one still has a ton of pages to do in it. There's one I did a long time ago. <clears throat> yeah, there's still a lot of pages to do, but I've done other pages as well. So I also worked ahead one day and colored in all their skin tones just so that would be done. I only had one skin tone marker, so they all have the same color. <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. So little sweethearts. Okay, this is a book that I just got actually on Halloween. And on Halloween, I colored three pages in it, which was a ton of fun. I get that it's Crayola and it's for kids, but you know what? The pictures are adorable and I enjoy it. So I don't really care. I'm gonna color in it. I actually have a whole Crayola coloring book haul coming up. So if you're interested in that, keep look out for that. <clears throat> this is the Crayola Trick or Treat 365 coloring book. <laughs> <laughs> that cracks me up. Okay, first one I did is right here. Now the paper in these books is not good. It's the normal like kids coloring book paper. So you could always photocopy this onto better paper and color if you want or color straight in the book, which is what I'm doing. All three pictures I did in this book, I actually used Black Widow pencils on and they color like butter on this kid's coloring book pages. Seriously, it is such a fun coloring experience. I totally recommend it. And you can get the 24 pack for I think like 16 or $17. So it's not much money. It's totally worth it. So here's the first one. I have this little mummy and ghost. So I kind of colored the mummy in gray a little bit if you can see there so he wasn't just the same color as the coloring book. Then I have this one which I adore. This is like my vegetarian werewolf because he's coming home from the store with a bag of groceries and he has all kinds of fruits and vegetables and then one loaf of bread. But I think he's gonna go on like werewolf date night. He's gonna make something really nice for his werewolf date. So <laughs> love that one. And then finally, I did this one while I was passing out candy to trick or treaters. <laughs> so this is a little daddy and baby dragon and they are feeding their fish here. I think it's a fun picture because you have the cute little uh, portrait of them on the wall as well. And yeah, it was just a lot of fun to color. And like I said, those pencils do great on this kid's paper. And <clears throat> it does not ruin the picture on the other side. Having said that, a little tip. Do put a piece of cardstock or paper or coloring mat in between because I use hard pressure when I use colored pencils, so I press pretty hard. If you don't put something, the ink from this page will smear a little bit on this page. Let me see if I can show you. The, um, the mummy, I didn't do it at first. And you can see on this side, you see the faint lines here of the page before and here. You might not be able to see it, but in person you can see it. So definitely put something in there to protect it. Okay, just a couple books left. We have the One Color Relaxation Art Animal Stencils. I think this is by, yes, yeah, Sun Life Drawing. <clears throat> This one is just a lot of fun because it's mindless. You can just sit there and just color the stuff in. I do it while watching videos and whatnot. Um, glitter gel pen, of course, my favorite. Now, I am trying to use up a set of old gel pens. So what I'm doing is when I finish a page, if I still have gel pen left, <clears throat> I'm going into the back of the book and working so here's a completed one <laughs> i'm working until the gel pen gets used up so on this ferret here i still had ink left over so you can see i did all this of the turtle until the gel pen was completely done and then that way i could get rid of it so next up we have this one which is this cute little seahorse and fish and shell and again 
Same thing, I used the orange here to finish it up. And I think I have, yes, this green one, I didn't have enough left. So this one I have to finish, but I didn't have enough left to finish this. And I didn't want to like get into a spot and be weird that I ran out. So I finished the green up here and then started that page. <laughs> And then I'll use a different color green here or a different color entirely to finish that page up. Two books left. Let's do this one because it's short. This is the Disney Princesses Color Coloriage Magique Mysteries. Mysteries. These are from Hachette Junettes and I get these on Amazon UK. So I have one in here that's finished. And it's this one right here with Snow White and Prince Charming. And these are just a lot of fun. I did this with Crayola Super Tips, which you can see do not bleed through the pages. I have Rapunzel started over here. And again, Crayola Super Tips are amazing because they don't bleed through. So you can use them in your two, um, you know, your coloring books that have pages back to back. So there's that one. And last book, which I have a ton done in, this is the large print color by number Little Witches book by Sun Life Drawing. I only got this um, this year, but I have done a bunch, as you can see. Was that? Huh, my little, my little flag turned. Okay, let's start with that one. So here's the first one I did. And I, for a long time, I've dated my pages, but I recently started using this little stamp to date the pages. I forget where I originally saw it, but I think it was on, um, oh, what is your channel name? Niagara Nikki? Is that the name of it? It's Nikki. I think it's Niagara Nikki. I hope I'm saying that channel name right. You know you watch channels all the time and then you can't remember the name exactly, but anyway, I think I saw it on her channel and I thought that was a great idea. So I went ahead and picked one up and I've been doing that. So here's my first one. This book only uses 12 colors, so it's a very easy color palette to use. And the pictures are just a lot of fun. So here's my next one. And I mostly use alcohol markers in these. I think this one I used Crayola brush tips. And then this one I used those close to my heart alcohol markers I was telling you about. So these are a little more pastel. This is like using Bic markers except for the background. The background on this one was done with a Crayola. Actually, a lot of this was done with Crayola. You can tell because of the streaks. When you use water-based markers, you get more streaks than like this is alcohol. So there's not as many streaks. Okay, here is the next one. These are so much fun to color, you guys. Okay, then I have a bunch in the back. So I have this one right here. And this one, take all my little page markers off. There's that one. This one, I feel like this is Captain Jack right here, giving a look like, hmm, I can eat your coloring book if I want to. Here's the next one. And finally, this book had this picture in the back which is just showing another coloring book. They have the World of Mice coloring book. So I might pick that one up as well <clears throat> because that was, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is crazy. That was a lot of fun to color. So, okay, there you have it. Those are my colored pages. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that. I know I've had lots of requests to show those. Like I said, I still have some other ones coming up, but I have to haul the coloring books first. So, okay. There you have it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I will see you guys next time.